Hello everyone, Tom Morley here from T3D. I've got another really cool effect using the GMIC plugin with GIMP, a uh, fire effect. I call it the Fire King effect here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Let's open up the original picture here in GIMP. And again, this is another picture that my friend Rocco Sea allowed me to use. So he's a, an awesome photographer. And I'm very thankful that he lets me use his artwork for showing you how to do these effects. So we've got the original here. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some contrast to all the fur. We're going to go into the GMIC plugin. And we are going to go to details, freaky details. We will apply that. You'll see that it gives us some additional contrast here in the fur. We're going to apply that filter one more time, so we're going to repeat it. The next thing we'll do is we're going to apply the dream smoothing filter in the artistic section. So artistic, go down to dream smoothing. We're going to change some of the de default settings here. Uh, iterations, we're going to change to 7. We do not want to lose the detail in the picture, so we're going to change the smoothing to zero. Our overlap will be 108. And I have eight threads, so I'm going to change this default setting to eight threads here. And I'm going to click OK. Now this particular plugin is going to take a while, so what I will do is I will come back after this dream smoothing is applied. Okay, so the Dream Smoothing Filter is complete. The next thing we want to do is give it a um, more brushed effect rather than uh, the picture here. We need to make it look like we have some brush strokes. So go into GMIC and go down to the Radulus Filter here. Click on that. We are going to change some of the default settings. Again, this is used to create a glow effect on uh, on a lot of pictures. We'll use this to give us a, a base for uh, setting up our fire, our, our colors for our fire. So amplitude, we'll change that to 4.25. Thickness as well, 4.25. The Sharpness, we will set down to 133. Orientations to 14. Our offset will be 62. And our smoothness will be set to 1. In the color mode, this time will be set to lighter. And you'll see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some, some glow effect that we can use for highlighting the fire colors in the next step. So we'll apply that. We'll click OK. This filter also will take a little while to apply, so I will come back as soon as this Rogerless filter is uh, applied. OK, so the filter's done. And the next thing we need to do is apply the colors for the fire. So we will click on Filters, GMIC, go to the sequences section and there's an edges on fire and that will be the section that we'll be using. We need to change the settings a little bit. The edges themselves will be 0 0.32 0.25, smoothness set to 0. Our threshold will be at 14. We do not want multiple frames, so we're going to just change the number of frames to 1. And our starting frame will be number 3. that down to three. 
Okay, and now what you're trying to do here is you want to keep all the detail of the fur itself, yet you want to make sure that you still have some detail in the dark areas, like where the, uh, the tongue and the teeth in this particular picture. You want to be able to see those as well and make sure that there's some color going on as, in there as well. So when you adjust these settings, that's what you're looking for. We're going to click OK. Let that apply and there you see we've created basically like embers on all of the pieces of fur and around the teeth and the backdrop there as well. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make these pieces of fur look more like fire rather than embers. So we can do that by going into the GMIC filter one last time and do some dream smoothing again. So go to the artistic section, dream smoothing. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do this. I'm just going to do iterations three here just to save time. So it will go through three iterations of applying this particular filter. And um, we want the smoothness set to zero again as well and our spatial overlap leave that at 108 and I'm going to click OK. So while this is processing I'll just explain the fact that you can change you can make the iterations one iteration and then in between each iteration you can adjust the brightness and contrast to kind of get a different effect but to save time I'm going to just apply all three iterations at once and get the final effect. I'm going to let this process, it'll take a little while, I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, so the dream smoothing is complete and you can see that it totally washed out my picture, but that's okay because what we're, we'll do now is we'll go into uh, the colors menu here, we'll hit the brightness and contrast, and this is your salt and pepper I guess for your picture, you know, you, you just are going to adjust these set it in these uh, the brightness and contrast to get the the final effect that you're looking for so you know, bump up your contrast and uh, use your brightness to get the the final picture that you're looking for okay I like it to be somewhat bright in con or high level of contrast and uh, maybe we'll turn this brightness down just a little bit but uh, there you have it. You can play around a little bit with your brightness and contrast and uh, get the effect that, that looks good to you. Okay, So that's it. There's your Fire King. We went from the lion pitcher that Rocco Seo gave us and applied some GMIC filters and got a really cool fire effect on the, on the lion's head here. So hopefully you've learned something. I hope you liked the videos. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the rest, okay? We'll see you in the next one.